hello viewers in today's class we are going to discuss yet another uh, very important and conceptual problem from definite integrals and here uh, we have to solve this integral right that is from pi by 5 to 3 pi by 10 and we have sin x over sin x plus uh, cosine of x right so we have to uh, find the value of this definite integral and here uh, we'll use uh, the properties of definite integrals to uh, solve this integral right so let us start and uh, let us see how we can easily solve this uh, integral uh, by making use of the properties of definite integrals right so let us first call this integral as i and we can take this as uh, integral number uh, one right so here uh, what we are going to uh, uh, see is uh, uh, we are going to use this property uh, that is uh, if we have uh, a definite integral from a to b f of x dx then uh, this integral is equivalent to a to b and we have f of a plus b minus x uh, dx right so uh, this integral is equivalent to this integral and this is a very very important property uh, to solve uh, these type of uh, integrals right so what we will do here see here we have the uh, variable x and in the next step uh, that is uh, uh, a to b f of x dx uh, what we do uh, we replace this x by a plus b minus x that is uh, first we find out the uh, uh, sum of the lower limit and the upper limit that is a plus b and then we subtract x right so uh, this integral is uh, uh, equivalent to a to b f of x dx right so we can assume this integral uh, to be equal to this integral where a is uh, uh, pi by 5 and b is uh, uh, 3 pi by uh, 10 right so in the next step uh, what we will do uh, when we use this property uh, so uh, we'll write this integral as pi by 5 to 3 pi by 10 and uh, uh, wherever we have x uh, here we have x here we have x and here we have x so we'll replace this x uh, by uh, a plus b minus x so a is uh, pi by 4 5 plus uh, b is uh, 3 pi by 10 uh, minus x right so if we rip, uh, if we uh, solve this uh, expression uh, what we will get uh, we'll get 10 here so here we have 2 pi and here we have 3 pi and here we have minus x so this is uh, a 5 pi by 10 and uh, here we have x so we have pi over 2 minus x right so now uh, we have this integral so using this property in the uh, next step what we will do we will replace these x by pi by 2 minus x right so let us write uh, pi by 2 minus x here then we have sine of pi by 2 minus x and here we have cos of pi by 2 minus x right and here we have dx so now uh, using some basic uh, trigonometry uh, we can write sine uh, 90 minus theta is uh, simply uh, cos of x this is so we have cos of x and here again we have cos of x and here we have uh, uh, sine of x right so here we have used the results that is sine pi by 2 minus theta is equal to cosine theta and cos of uh, uh, pi by 2 minus theta is equal to sine of theta right so now uh, let us call this uh, integral as integral number 2 right now if we look at integral number 1 and integral number 2 uh, we see that uh, the limits uh, remains the same and uh, the denominator also remains the 
same because here we have the sin x plus cos x here we have uh, sin x plus cos x and uh, the only difference is in the numerator uh, we have here sin x and here we have cos x right so what we will do i uh, will add these two integrals together right so adding side by side uh, we have i plus i here this i and this i and we have uh, here pi by 5 to 3 pi by 10 we have sin x over sin x plus cos x dx and here we have this integral that is pi by 5 to 3 pi by 10 and here we have cos x and here we have cos x plus sin x right so now this is i plus i is 2i and here we have pi by 5 to 3 pi by 10 now what we will do we'll uh, merge these two integrals because uh, the limits are same so we have sin x then see the denominators are same so we can simply add the uh, numerators so we have sin x plus cos x over sin x plus cos x right and here we see that uh, both these numerators uh, numerator and the denominator are same so these two terms get cancelled so we are left with uh, pi by 5 to 3 pi by 10 and here we are left with uh, only 1 dx or simply dx right so now the uh, integral uh, dx is simply x so here we have x and the limits are from pi by 5 to 3 pi by 10 and uh, here uh, we'll substitute the limits and we'll take the difference so we have 3 pi by 10 minus pi by 5 and uh, 3 pi by 10 minus uh, pi by 5 is uh, here we have 10 here we have 3 pi and here we have uh, 2 pi right so now we have 2i is equal to uh, pi over 10 and this is i is equal to pi over 2 times 10 so this 2 goes to the denominator so we have pi over 20 right so the value of this integral is equal to pi over 20 right so in this uh, lecture we have seen that how we can uh, make use of this property of definite integrals uh, to solve uh, these type of integrals right